Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online In this video, channel. I will show you a game between Karol Honfi and Mikhail Tal. This very beautiful chess game was played in the Soviet Union in 1972. Karol Honfi had white pieces and he started with e4. Mikhail Tal played c5, Sicilian opening, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, e6, knight to c3, a6, preventing knight to b5, bishop to e2, queen to c7, f4, d6, and we have Sicilian Scheveningen variation. Bishop to e3, bishop to e7, queen to d2, knight to f6, and Honfi castle at queen side. Black to move. Castling is very popular in this position. If black castles kingside, then white most of the time plays g4. Tal played knight takes knight on d4. Bishop takes on d4, e5. Bishop to e3, b5. F takes on e5, d takes on e5. Knight to d5 attacking the queen, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight threatening d6, forking two pieces. Bishop to d6, g4, bishop to b7, king to b1, and tal cast at king's side. White to move, bishop to f3 was played, beta was bishop to d3, aiming at h7 and preventing a5. Bishop to f3, a5, bishop to e4, b4, queen to g2, intending queen to h3. Better was queen to d3. It would create weaknesses in the black camp after, say, g6, bishop to h6. Queen to g2, a4, queen to h3, threatening checkmate on h7 g6, bishop to c1, bishop to a6, rook from h to e1, bishop to c4, rook to e3, white would love to play queen to h6, and then rook to h3, if given time, rook from f to c8, tal is threatening checkmate, queen to g2, b3, C takes on b3, a takes on b3, a takes on b3. Black to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. This is kind of a position. Tal enjoyed more than eating vegetables. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Hmm? Tal played bishop to e2, offering a bishop for free. How kind! That is what you think at first sight, but when you look deeper, maybe he gave a bishop in order to give checkmate. Maybe. Hmm? Definitely maybe. White to move. Queen takes bishop. Well, if rook takes bishop, then after queen to a5, there is no rook to c3. So we have queen takes bishop. Queen to a5, threatening checkmate. Rook to c3, blocking c file. Queen to a2, check. King to c2, rook takes rook. King takes rook. But what now? Is white king escaping? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? I will show you one variation that doesn't work. Rook to c8, check. Then king to d2, and after queen takes on b3, king to e1, white king is escaping and white is winning the game. What is the move then? Well, Tal sacrificed another bishop. Check. King takes bishop. But how to checkmate now? 
Tal played the queen to a5 check, king to c4. Black played a move and white resigned. Can you guess the move? Queen to a6 check. x ray the queen. White resigned. The purpose of the bishop sacrifice, move 27, was to force the white queen onto the e2 square. Tal saw six moves forced combination, ending with the skewering and winning of the queen. Hofni all the time was worried about his king, and yet Tal was after his queen. Is that brilliance or not? The game could have continued like this. King to c3 and then queen takes queen forking two pieces. Which piece to save? Bishop to d3. Queen takes rook. And we can stop here. What a game. What a brilliancy. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.